In honor of Vlad Baomer, I'm reading um, a portion from the Zohar today, written by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, translated with a slum edits into the English to make it more readable by um, Rav Ashlag from the Kabbalah Center. Forgive me. <sighs> For whatever meanings you come up with my yawn. I actually learned from a writer that it, I forget her name. She's also a public speaker from Albania and a life coach. I can't even find out her name right now because the thing I read it from is in an envelope that's already sealed. Um, I feel like her son is Kelton. That's all I could say. All right, so God willing, she'll get lots of blessings. Um, but I guess she got it from someone else, some neuroscientist that yawning um, really relaxes the mind into enjoyment. Helps us connect socially and also gives us the right focus for our mind to pay attention properly. So she says it's a healthy thing. Now I read it in Aramaic to myself. This edition has Nikudo, which makes it possible to read it kind of like Hebrew letters, but it's written with the Hebrew letters. Most of the letters are interchangeable. Some of them look different in Aramaic, like the script, but yeah, there's, there's plenty of Hebrew words here as well. So this is chapter 17 of the book of Mishpatim. It's a, it's a Yisro Mishpatim book together. This is number 10. Um, it already has a next family or person it's going to live with after me dedicated, but that'll be in like maybe could be a week or two. Um, and I guess I'm transitioning the book. I'm letting you know. So, uh, something I guess I got it so um excuse me for that okay um I would rather have not had had to do that so third time the charm I once learned to check temperature, yawning. Um, so, my Bishim of Ayachai's Yartzei was uh, a long time ago, but every year it's celebrated because, yeah, okay, so the day of his passing, the Yartzei, actually the Hilula is the day of the passing, and then Yartzei is each year, the Hilula is like the rising, the uh, year site, the year is like time, so it's like the anniversary, really annual, and then I guess versary. I'm sure most of these words, we could break them up, they'll all come to mean the same thing. So, so it's a holiday for, for, especially for people who read Zohar or learn Zohar. And on this channel in the past, I have read Zohar, but mostly I was reading from notebooks I have collection of material. And then I was offering a lot of practices guided meditations and other, you know, techniques. Um, and also I'd read plenty of articles and other sources and even movements or whatever. And now I am, and including also Zohar, and then now I have, I am and have been for a while now reading from the material. So this is a break in honor of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, who's responsible for the Zohar. And um, when he passed, it was in, in the brightest of lights. And so, pretty much, um, there's bonfires, there's, um, where I live, there's a big parade in honor of him. Um, for the day, the 33rd Hod in Hod of the Sphira. So Ziyartzeit is his anniversary, and then Halula 
in another language is the, uh, yeah, and then Thirty-three is hod in hod, the humility of humility, which is also splendor, splendor, presence of presence, gratitude of gratitude, or some combination of all of those. Splendor of gratitude, presence of humility, right? So it's a left leg in figurative speech. And I'll read from this chapter 17. I donated $17 today to a cause related to redemption generation in Hebrew Geula. And it was women, and it was so powerful and impactful. And I will be fed by it, God willing, for the year, because till next Lag Bomer, because they meet once a year. So they who, this is synopsis. <sighs> Sometimes it's on a verse. This time, Mishpatim is like one of the Parshas from the five books of Moses, right? So when I say Moses, I mean Moshe. Um, so there are times where it's like, We can look at this as understanding the the hidden aspects of Torah. And not that they should be revealed and we think that's it. There's going to be a hidden aspect. And this is on the theme, a spirit ascends and descends every night. So here's the synopsis. They who offer their spirits as an offering to Hashem are happy. And every night their spirits ascend to Him. They who ascend by a precept, meaning, by, meaning the precept, precept of tefillin are happy. We read about the connection of deed, speech, and thought, and about the 70 words in the psalm. May Hashem hear you in the day of trouble. Among the masters of Torah, there are two grades, morning and dawn. The morning of Avram Chesed appears on the day of redemption. <sighs> but the dawn precedes the day of redemption, being Netzach. As the Shrina, this from this aspect is called the star of dawn. The morning alludes to the right hand of Abraham, which alludes to the Messiah, the son of David. It starts at verse 65 because it's ongoing from these uh, chapters in order consequentially. The faithful shepherd consecutively, I think I meant. Anyway, the faithful shepherd said to Elijah, Elijah, certainly when even ordinary people bless and sanctify and unite the matron, numerous hosts of the matron, the mother, maybe, or matron, but you could say it however you need. And hosts of the king descend to him, and all with the purpose to guard him, to make known to the spirit many novel ideas and forecasts within the dream of prophecy, and many hidden matters. An example is Jacob, about whom is written, and behold, the angel of Elohim ascending and descending on it. That's in Beratius, or Genesis twenty-eight twelve. Regarding the hosts of the king and the matron are written, and he called the name of that place Machanayim, two camps, Beresha 32, 2. That's um, Genesis. However, the king and matron themselves do not descend there, whereas with regard to a repentant, the Holy One blessed be personally descends to that spirit as disgust. Elijah said, faithful, and then it continues. Now it's 466, and I'll keep going. I won't read the number of every one. The last one here is 476, okay? Elijah said, faithful, I, I meant I won't say the number each time. I'll just read them. Elijah said, faithful shepherd, so it is, as a result of your efforts in every precept to unify the Holy One, blessed be and his Shekhinah with all the hosts above and below. So the Holy One, blessed be he and his Shekhinah and all her hosts above and below, unify with your spirit with every precept done. As a prince whose parents love and kiss him, they do not rely on their hosts, but choose to guard him themselves. I don't remember if I said it, and I don't think I did. Um... It's about speaking words of Torah. I didn't say it, so I just said it. Um, explanation. Your spirit stems from the central pillar, namely Zeron, Pin, being the Vav. Vav is a letter and, um, that comprises Abba and Ima, which are Yud and He of the Tetragrammaton, Your, which is a reference to the name, which is ineffable. Um, the lower, uh, your soul is an only daughter from the aspect of the letter He, the lower Shechina, namely Malchut, that doesn't move from you, just as Abba and Ima guard the son, namely Zerah and Pin, so they guard the daughter, namely Malchut, and the supernal hosts, the two camps, with the supernal thought, which is Chachma, they raise your spirit, as was stated, the thought of Yisrael came to mind, being Yud He Vav He, when does your spirit come up in thought, when it is complete? 
It is said about it, let everything that has breath, literally every soul, praise Yah. To Helen 156. And with the Nefesh too, being the, what well, it's uh, chapter 150, verse six, obviously, because the Tehillim goes to 150, I thought it would be obvious, but just in case someone was trying to look it up, we'll find out. Um, and with the Nefesh too, being the Hey of Yud Hey Vav Hey, meaning the soul ascends with the spirit. Regarding the spirit of Hashem, it is written, come from the four winds, also spirits, O breath, also breath, spirit. Yechaskel 37, nine. When composed of the four spirits, it is called the spirit of yod heh vav heh, that is, and the spirit of Hashem shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might. Yeshaya, or Isaiah, 11.2. If he's perfect with the four letters of yod heh and vav and heh, um, I know I said it before, but it's said to be best to break it and not say it straight, because it could kind of resemble saying it in a way that would be disrespectful when it's not the appropriate way, and also... Um, It could be attracting the energy of thinking it was said in some way. When it wasn't, then it should. It isn't said in that in such a casual way, right? Like that, the thought of him occurs, and yet again, I mean, maybe that's conflicting information because it is written like this. All right, continuing, the thought of him occurs, namely Chachma, and the cause of all causes adorns him with the crown. Within all this glory, your spirit ascends and descends nightly. All things are revealed to you with chesed. Which is more, you know, hold, like I said, left leg kind of, or like those words I gave, splendor, magnificence, space, um, praise. And then the right hand, or presence, gratitude. The right arm, chesed, is like, uh, and then the words are like, excuse me for that. Um, the words are like expansion, giving, sharing, generosity, opening. It says, if he's perfect with the four letters of yud heh vav heh, the thought of him occurs, namely chachma, and the cause of all causes adorns him with the crown. Within all this glory, your spirit ascends and descends nightly. All things are revealed to you with chesed, of which the verse says, but you d that did cleave of Hashem, that's from Devarim, Deuteronomy 4.4, 4, you, but not the nations of the world, hence he that sang to sacrifices to any Elohim other than Elohim, save to Hashem, only he shall be utterly destroyed. Shemot 22, 19, that's um, Exodus. Fortunate is the holy nation that are called sheep of the Holy One, blessed be he, ready to offer themselves as a sacrifice for him, as it is written. But for your sake we are, kill, are we killed all the day long, we're reckoned as sheep for the slaughter. Tehillim 44, 23, they would sacrifice, tell them the Psalms. They would sacrifice themselves as sheep by fasting, diminishing one's own fat and blood during a fast takes on more importance than animal sacrifice where the diminishing of animal fat and blood takes place, as well as the nightly burning of the limbs and parts of the sacrifices. It's referring to the days of the temple and the tabernacle or the Beis HaMikdash and, and the Mishkan. The third Beis HaMikdash or Hashlishi, the third, um, refers to um, the unknown aspect, as of yet. Happy are they, and also the known aspect, since there are dates for the first two so far, when they were built and when they were destroyed, and, it, and the one before the Mishkan, the tabernacle that was stationary, and the mobile um, times, obviously, were uh, recorded. Happy are they that Offer their spirits as an offering to Hashem, and nightly their spirits ascend to Him. If it ascends with Torah and the precepts, meaning the Ten Commandments that were given by the Yud of the Yud and Hey Vav Hey, as the numbers of the Ten Commandments are from the letter Hey Five, remember Vav is like a number six, Hey is like a number five of Yud Hey Vav Hey, adding to ten. Now with the Vav of yod Hey and Vav and Hey, with six books of Torah, with the book of Bereshit, five are called the five books. As he counted two verses of, and it came to pass when the ark set forward, but mid by numbers, 1035, as an independent book, as told by our sages of blessed memory, so there are five books, beginning with the book of Shemot, Exodus, Bereshit, it's considered the sixth book. Horatius is uh, 
the first book, usually, we would say, and um, Genesis. If it occurs to thought, being yod he and vav he, of the first three Svi road, it is written, Yisrael occurred to mind. Yisrael ascended with what? To where does he ascend? To Keter. Keter is like the crown. It's like number one um, that can become two, three, four, because there's inside of two, there's two ones. So three is three ones, so it's one. Um, it's like, okay, so it says to where, to Keter, the site of the most wondrous concealed cause of all causes. It's, it's the light, Keter. Happy is he who ascends by a precept. By the, uh, meaning the precept of Tefillin, containing the four chapters concerning the name I'm going to say YHVH because I just realized that's what I'm using. Yod is for Y, He is H, V is Vav, and He is H. That's the compromise. Yod of YHVH is the portion sanctified to me, Exodus 13, 2. He of YHVH alludes to, and it shall be when Hashem shall bring you uh, that's the same quote. Vav of YHVH. In Hero Israel or Shema Yisrael, the Varim, um, which is Deuteronomy 6 4. And the last hey of YHVH, and it shall come to pass of you shall, uh, it shall come to pass of you shall hearken. As Devarim, Deuteronomy 28 1. All are included. All are included in thought, meaning the first three he wrote. First three measures, right? So Hod was the leg, Chesed was the was the left leg, Chesed was the right arm, and Keter was the crown. So then there's three in the head. Um, to connect th thought with the hand. Alluding to the Shechina, referred to as the hand, to fill in. So there's two parts of Tefillin. Phylacteries, it's on the arm and on the head. So the Shechina is referred to as the hand's fill in. And Shechina is composed of, Shechina could be called the feminine presence of the divine, the feminine of the divine, the divine feminine. Alluding, alluding to the Shechina, referred to as the hand to the Shechina is composed of deed, speech, and six svirot, and thought. She's composed of deed, being the hay, alluding to her malchut, of speech, being her bina, composed of six svirot, being her tzveret, and composed of thought, being yud, vav, dalid, hey aleph, vav, aleph, vav, and hey aleph, which is y, h, v, h, equaling 14 letters, equaling the numerical value of yad, hand, which is 14. And you ask why was each, why was it so many letters for the y, h, v, h? Because if you take the letter yud, which is, let's say in English, you'd write y, u, d. It's not just the letter. So in Hebrew, you could do that because they're letters, but they're also numbers. So yud, the letter and the number, the, the symbol, could be spelled also as if you were writing out the name of it, and it would be Yud Vav Dalid, and it would be Yud, but it would also be referring to a letter that's just one symbol. All right, so, and that's her first three, first three Sfiro, which is Shrina, and um, that's equaling 14 hand, Yad, Yud Dalid, which is the number 14, alludes to four chapters in one compartment of hand to fill in with two straps. Now we have seven. Some of this you have to know about tefillin. Um, two shins on the right and left of the tefillin compartment. You know, there's uh, Torah in there. Now equal nine with the knot of the strap. Now 10 with the chapters of the hand tefillin, which equal 14. So that is why the shechina is called hand, the hand of YHVH. About her it's written, into your hand I commit my spirit. Biyad chav ked ruchi, p'tis aisi, adonai el emes tehillim, 31, 16, Psalms. The spirit is deposited with YHVH, and the Holy One, blessed be he, descends to receive it and place it by the Shechina. For the Holy One, blessed be he, and the Shechina guard it. Who brought this about? He who, with every precept, lifted the Shechina to the Holy One, blessed be he. The 70 words in the psalm, may Hashem hear you in the day of trouble. To him, 22, 20, verse, uh, chapter 20, verse 2 allude to the 70 sounds made by the expectant mother about to give birth, being also the 70 sounds given by the Shechina for the distress of the children of Yisrael, the nation of Israel, 
prior to redemption, considered then a day of trouble, he asked, why does she cry out? He answers, it is known that among Israel there are masters of Torah and kings from the aspect of the star of dawn, namely the Shekhinah. There are two graves, morning and dawn, about which it is said, at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore, Netzach, which is the, like the right leg. And earlier, I want to say when it said that there was um, six Firo and, her, and then her Malchut, it's because there's a, you know, I mentioned Netzach, Hod, Chesed, and then, it, you know, you heard, we heard Teferet, which is like the beauty, the harmony, the balance when it was, and then Bina. So the six in the middle, not the ones in the head, the, the six in the middle. So, and then the Malchut, which is like related to the feet. So then there's Gvura, which is the left arm. Anyway, so here, no, you know, your right hand are pleasure forevermore, but it, it's referring to Netzach, which is the right leg also, and it's to do with eternity, uh, perpetuity, victory, fortitude, forward, progression. Um, the morning of Avraham Chesed. Remember Chesed, Abraham, Abraham is like the father of the nations appears on the actual day of redemption, but the dawn precedes the day of redemption, being Natsach, as the Shechina from this aspect is called the star, or Do, of dawn. Hence, the chief musician, or it's called in Hebrew, the Lama Natsach, written before May Hashem hear you in the day of trouble, it is spelled Natsach and Lamed Mem, Lama Natsach, Lama Natsach, as the word Lama Natsach is spelled Lamed Mem, Natsach, since the prevalence of dawn is forever, Natsach. The numerical value of Lamed Mem is 70, which are the 70 sounds that the Do of Dawn, D-O-W, never heard that word before that I could remember, cries out for her children when the darkness of the exile overcomes them, namely the darkness or Shacharut of the Dawn, Shachar, taking place at the last 70 years. At that time will be fulfilled in Israel like a woman with child that draws near the time of her delivery is in pain and cries out in her pain, so have we been in your sight, Hashem. Isaiah 26, 17. Yeshaya. And so since the Shekhinah suffers with us, and therefore we hope for you, Hashem, our Elohim, that you will redeem us. And with them, meaning the 70 sounds of the Do, being the Shekhinah, she places her head between her knees. Her head is the righteous, the foundation of the world, and between her knees are Netzach and Hod. And he takes an oath by the righteous to redeem her children in the morning, which is Lion. Name the Chesed refers to as Lion. The morning alludes to the right hand of Abraham, depicting Chesed, alluding to Messiah, the son of David, who stems from Judah, about whom it is, it is written, Judah is the lion's wealth. That's from Genesis 49.9. And remember, Judah, Jew, Jewish, Jew. Hoda, you know, they're all related. Yesod is like Yosef, like, you know, Yaakov is another brother. So Yesod is another of the six, and it's to do with the pelvis, also creativity, abundance, secret, flow, presence, not presence, uh, when I say present, I mean like the flow of reality in the presence and the creative constant goings. But but could you could rest in that way. None of these are like fixed in their definition either. For the anyway, I'm gonna continue. For this reason, the verse says, As Hashem lives, lie down until the morning. That's in Ruth three thirteen, until the appearance of Messiah, the son of David, who's called the lion, and it is morning, namely the light of Chesed. Morning and, and is, is morning, M-O-R-N-I-N-G. That caused, that caused his glorious to ferret arm to go at the right hand of Moses, dividing the water. That's from Isaiah or Yeshaya 63, 12. Since to ferret, the level of Moses is considered a body that includes all six firo, chesed, gvur, to ferret, netzachod, nisod, chesed is his right hand arm. Moses is bound by the name Ayin Beis Chesed, which is the level of Avraham, as Ayin Beis is the numerical value, four times 18. Living, three vavs is 18, six, 12, 18. And I never said Gevura is related to the boundary, to the power, to the desire, to the feminine, to the receiving, to the negative polarity, but you need a positive polarity. The, the negative is not bad in this case. It's not negating, it's just taking, receiving space for it. It wants control, or it's self-control, either one. Anyway, so, uh, Chesed is his right arm. Moses is bound by the name Ayin Bez, Chesed, which is the level of Avraham, as Ayin Bez is the numerical total of four times 18 living. 
18, three vavs at the beginning of the three verses, and the angel removed, and it came, and Moses stretched out. That's Shemos 14, 19 to 21, being the secret of the name Ayin Bez, 72, containing the three branches of the fathers, Chasid, Gvur, and Tzferet, so Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, Jacob is Israel, uh, Jacob was was named Israel, or Jacob as Israel returned to to his family, and as removed denotes Chesed, and came denotes Gvura. So being the secret of the, and Moses stretched out. Oh, that was the three, and the, and the angel removed, and it came, and Moses stretched out. Va va va. 18. Being the secret of the name, I am Bez, containing the three branches of the fathers, Chesed, Gur, and Tiferet, and removed denotes Chesed, and came denotes Gbura, and stretched out denotes Tiferet. They are three times 18, bound with the shin of Moses that contains three branches, which is the secret of the, of the three faces, lion, ox, eagle. And it is said about them, and the four had the face of a lion on the right side, the face of an ox on the left side, and also had the face of an eagle. Yechaskel, one, two. They denote chesed, gvur, and tiferet. The mem, hey, of the name Moses is, as for the likeness of their faces, they had the face of a man, denoting machut as adam, man, which equals mem, hey, being the fourth, eighteen, thus being the secret of as Hashem lives, lie down until the morning. Ruth, three, thirteen. During the morning light, through the morning light is completed the fourth the fourth eighteen, which is Malchut and the name Ayan Bez that encompasses four times eighteen in the four faces of the chariot, indicated with the shin of Moses and with the memhe of Moses. This keeps falling out something my uh, clip in the page. So the lion, ox, and eagle. Lion on the right, ox on the left, eagle in the middle is like Chesed on the right, Gevur on the left, Tiferet in the middle, like Avram on the right, Yitzhak on the left, and Yaakov in the middle. So like 72 is completed by the morning, which is the fourth of like the three already. Nothing new under the sun, they say sometimes, right? Anyway, wishing you a beautiful Lagba Omer.